Uh, what up guys? Jake here and we're about to hit a chest and shoulder workout. It's been four days since I last hit chest and shoulders so it should be should be feeling nice and uh, nice and strong or as strong as possible anyway. Um, at the moment you know chest is definitely one of my weaker parts. Shoulders is probably one of my stronger parts um, but yeah as far as chest goes I'm trying to hit it at least twice a week. Um, no more than that actually, so not at least twice a week, at least once a week, if not twice a week, um, everything else at least once a week. Um, so what I'm going to do is something a little different, usually I'll probably go you know, four or five, maybe six sets on each exercise, um, probably about three exercises uh, for each muscle group, but today I'm going to pick a pressing movement and hit it for 10 sets of 10. Um, at a weight that I can you know comfortably do it in the first set but on the last couple of sets I want to be failing on you know that 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 second to last and last rep so 10 sets to 10 on that um, whether it's incline or flat I'm not sure um, after that I'll do some flies um, probably about 10 sets of those as well so that'll be chest done and then I won't be doing any uh, front delt movement I'll just be doing a side and a rear delt movement um, for probably you know six or seven sets each, really pump it out. And uh, at the end, uh, we'll have completed a great chest and shoulder workout. Um, you know, after doing chest, I don't really need to go and do a pressing movement. Um, that, you know, that's just a bit much. Now, I honestly don't think you really need a pressing movement in a shoulder routine. Um, I know guys with awesome 3D delts that have only done side, uh, front side and rear raises um, so you know it feels good pushing pushing a nice heavy weight on a shoulder press but in actual fact for me personally it doesn't feel that good um, I just feel that uh, I don't know my arms are quite long so unless I go really wide I'm coming down um, and like my elbows are being pressed out and it's just putting a lot of pressure on my elbows and also yeah, I just don't really feel a, a, a pressing movement. I'm not that strong on it. So, you know, I do do pressing movements, whether it's dumbbell or barbell or machine. But today I'm just going to do side and rear delts um, just with dumbbell raises and also using the cable too. So I'm sure it's going to be a wicked workout. Can't wait to hit it. About to go in now. And um, hopefully I'll get a little bit of footage and do a voiceover too, just to... Uh, give you a few details on how I train chest and shoulders. So let's do it. What is up? What is up everybody? Starting off this chest and shoulder workout as I normally do when I can be bothered and when um, I'm feeling like I've got to teach someone something. Um, Definitely start off with some uh, some rotator cuff warm ups and just some general shoulder warm ups. Um, I believe this is necessary for any upper body workout. I mean, you guys will know when you're using the lat pull down and you're not warm around the shoulder area, um, they feel like they're going to rip out of the fucking socket. So, this workout, just as I do most workouts, started off with a warm up, rotator cuffs, uh, side and rear raises, just using the 2.5 kilo dumbbell, and then finished off with some some press ups. Uh, and then I actually did that twice and then uh, we were on to the first exercise. I was feeling nice and warm by this stage. I did a warm-up set with uh, 10 kilo. I did a warm-up set with 20 kilo each side and this is my first working set with uh, 30 kilos on each side. Sorry, no, 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 no. That's 25 kilos each side. I'm not that strong. So, um, like I was saying before, I wanted the first set, you know, to be relatively easy um, and then by the last set, you know, to be really, really struggling. And I think there's one set that I showed you guys where I had to do a rest pause. I think I got seven reps. There was no way I was gonna get another one, but I wasn't gonna stop there. Um, so I racked it and then took a, few, took a few seconds to get my breath back and then did the extra three reps. So we still got it done. So it was 10 by 10 on the incline Smith machine press. Now this video here, um, you can obviously see there's an arch in my back, quite a big one. Um, and you can also see the bar path, you know, that's coming straight, straight up and down. And that is the, that's the real benefit with using a Smith machine. I mean, you can really get nice and set 
in that bench like I was, and um, you know that the bar, bar path is going to be is going to be really good. So, anyways, from there we went on to some flies um, using the cables. I did some from from a, a neutral angle like here, and then I went from the top and then also from the bottom. Um, now, what I wanted to emphasise with this is that I'm really I'm I'm feeling the squeeze before I even do the rep. So I'm coming forward, feeling the squeeze, and then you know coming around in sort of a circular motion, really trying to bring it up at the end of the rep. Bring you know get that volume up in the in the top top of the chest and really feel the squeeze. And also I wanted to show this in real time because even when it's getting really hard at the end of the set. You don't want to compromise your form, you really, really don't. I mean, I compromised it probably a little bit too much there, to be honest. But um, anyways, uh, we go on to some more flies, uh, this time going straight up and down. Simeon Panda likes to use these, I believe. And really, you're going you're gonna to feel an awesome um, squeeze however you do these flies. But this one, you're going to feel it at the bottom of the chest. It's, it, you know, it's more so like a, a decline press. Um, you know how you feel it more at the bottom of the chest? Well, this is similar. But once again, even when it's getting hard at the end, don't compromise your form. It's not worth it. So following the flies, I went over to the bench here and started doing some single arm uh, lateral raises. So these were both targeting the side and the rear delt at the same time. In fact, even in the same set, um, I would you know, do some reps to the side and then bend over a little bit more, do some reps to the back. And there's just an awesome overall side and rear delt pump from these so you know four sets um, using a 14 kilo dumbbell uh, and we were done on that one after that we went over to the cables again and did some some more single arm flies and single arm um, sorry not single arm flies single arm raises and rear delt raises but after those flies we came back um, and I grabbed two dumbbells one in each hand and really really finished off uh, my delts so um, I'm showing these in real time just to show you guys, you know, even on the last last few sets of the workout, my form is still good, um, still lowering it. You know, if I was doing 15 to 16, 20 kilo dumbbells, I would not be able to have that kind of control, you know what I mean? So um, what I did, and then these last sets were clearly uh, drop sets, dropped it down to seven kilos from 14 and ripped it out again. Once again, you know, Everyone seems to have a different sort of form on side on on side raises. Um, mine, when I'm standing there with the dumbbells, I will lock. I will fucking get it tensed as hell in my delt, you know, locked. And then um, I'll just keep. I'll keep the pump there. I'll keep the tension there the whole entire rep. It's not even when I bring the dumbbell down, the rep, the, the tension's still staying on the delt. Um, and you know, as I bring it up to the top of the movement, that you know, that pump is just getting more and more and more and more. So, this is the last set, guys. Thanks for staying with me. Um, I, I, there's a little bit of a physique update at the end. Um, I'm hoping, you know, I know I've talked a shitload, but I'm hoping to bring out more training videos soon and um, drop a few knowledge bombs here and there. And I hope you enjoy, and uh, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.